Static web apps in Azure are a great way of getting a simple website up and running. It supports a bunch of basic frameworks, but here I've just got some HTML, JavaScript and CSS that gives me a small sample site that looks like this. However, if you want to lock this down so it's only accessible to you, that's actually not possible under the free plan. You can do customized authentication under the standard plan, and that allows you to hook it up to a whole bunch of different things, including Azure Active Directory. However, that's £9 a month. For a hobby site, that's not a price I want to pay. Now, if we look at the documentation here, there is a way that you can add this staticwebapp.config.json file into the root of your repository, and then one of the allowed roles is authenticated. At first, I thought that was limiting it to any of the accounts in your tenant, but it's not. It's anybody with a Microsoft account can log into your site. Pretty much everything else I've seen online involves you needing a standard account to secure it any further. However, I found a way to do this on the free tier, and here's how you do it. So instead of the allowed role being authenticated, just type in a custom role name. So in this example, let me in. Commit that change. Let the pipeline deploy the change to your site. And then we can double check that it's secured by going to the site, granting consent. And we can see access is now forbidden because it requires that role name for you to be able to continue. So now let's add my user in with that custom role name. So I'll go to Role Management, Invite, and then I'm going to enter the role name, so let me in. And then I'm going to put in the email address of the account I want to give access. So this is the Microsoft account. Then I hit Generate, and I get an invite link. And if I visit that invite link, that's the thing that adds my account in to the list of authorised accounts. Once it's done here, it redirects me to my site. So let me just double check that that works. Go back to the one that, where it says forbidden, reload the page, and now I'm straight in. So I know that that's been locked down to just my account now. If I refresh the role management list, I can see my account's there now, and it's got that custom role of let me in. And that's it. This lets you lock down your static web app to only users that you invite, which makes the whole thing a lot more useful. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.